straight body position and straight back into the turns on the midsection. And the bottom air, back somersault with an iron cross. A little bit wobbly perhaps, sank a little low on the landing, the weight on the back seat a little bit. So a couple of little faults on that second air, 23.52. She moves into fourth place. It's uh, looking like a good night for the Canadians so far. Christy Richards there on the right of the screen. We can just see her still in the lead. The winner of yesterday's Maribel makeup event and currently leading as Nicola Sudova from the Czech Republic takes to the course. Sudova could uh, represent a serious threat to Christy Richards along with Michelle. Rock, I would say that Sudova here has as much experience as anybody in the competition. A seasoned World Cup campaigner and certainly no stranger to the World Cup podium. Great to see her back for another season at 25.68 the time. So uh, lacking a little bit in speed. Sudova though. One of the more solid, consistent performers. She tends to do well over the longer run of the World Cup season. Just uh, steadily sitting there, racking up the World Cup points. Occasional moments of brilliance, but Sedova is more about the overall performance. Always features high up on the uh, World Cup standings. She finished in fourth place on the World Cup uh, overall. Sorry, in uh, yes, in fourth place in the uh, World Cup overall standings last year. Not putting in the most uh, astounding performance of her career there, but uh, good enough for fourth place at the moment. Christy Richards from Canada, the winner of yesterday's uh, Mirabel makeup event, still leads. Don't forget the athletes going in reverse order of their qualifying positions, so we can perhaps expect the standard to slowly improve as we move through this 16 athlete final. Shelly Robertson from the USA now on course. The first of six remaining athletes. Back somersault with an iron cross, a good solid landing. Missed out perhaps on a couple of turns in the bottom section of the course. 25.07, a reasonable time. By no means the fastest tonight. Couple of nice airs. I don't think she's going to challenge the lead of Christy Richards. The Americans out in force tonight, but uh, the Canadians, particularly Christy Richards and uh, Jennifer Heil, who we'll see in action soon, particularly well prepared this year as they approach uh, that Olympic uh, Games. Fourth place for Robertson as they approach that Olympic Games in February next year on home snow in Vancouver. Margarita Marbler from Austria, another well-known World Cup medalist. Helicopter on the top air. It's important that the athletes land and get straight back into the turns without delay. The judges are looking for that continuity. They're also looking for tight turns, controlled turns, Marbler. Making a good job of that as she does the second air. Back some assault with an iron cross. 26.54, lacking in speed. But uh, the turns were good. Don't forget the turns accounting for 50% of the judges' scores. So often you can afford to be a little bit off form on the airs and a little bit off form perhaps on the speed. But if your turns are technically brilliant, you can make up for it. It's a combination of elements, as it is in many of the freestyle sports. The balance between getting uh, the right degree of control and technicality, uh, but also the right degree of expression and difficulty of manoeuvre. Marbler looks to me, thinks like she uh, might have left a little bit out there. A little bit of surprise, 23.36, only good enough for 8th place at the moment for her. Now then, Jennifer Heil, the reigning World Cup champion, and without question, the 
actually that many are looking at with a view to Olympic glory in Vancouver next season. She's got her work cut out there. Don't forget, it's her teammate, Christy Richards, who leads at the moment. Jennifer Heil putting in, well, it's a slightly scrappy performance from her, I've got to say. It. Normally, uh, those turns are a lot more controlled. 25.32, she's down on speed as well. So, uh, Jennifer Heil, I haven't got too many concerns about her. She's a fantastic competitor. Always gets the timing right throughout the season. Big thing for her, as I said, focusing on those Olympic Games to be held in Cyprus, Mans and Vancouver in, uh, on the 30th of February 2010. Well, a little bit of an upset there within the uh, Canadian team. Christy Richards holds onto the lead. I think Kyle perhaps a little bit disappointed with that as the uh, number one on the Canadian team. There's some tight competition, strong competition between the two, but here is the winning run so far from Christy Richards, 24.97 the score. Heil on 24.92, so very, very close. And Torito for the USA in third. Still three athletes remaining, and they're all from the US team. So as we've seen many, many times over the years in freestyle moguls, a real battle developing between the Canadians and the Americans. Here is the first of the Americans, Heather McPhee, lining up, looking focused in that start gate. She's just seen the best that Canada can do in the form of Heil and Richards. She knows exactly what she needs to do. A little bit hesitant getting back into the midsection turns. Can she get into her rhythm? Well, it's looking nice, but I think we may have seen some better action tonight. One or two scrappy turns on approach to the second air. She over rotates that back somersault a little as well. And straight lines the bottom section. Well, I'm not sure that was as good as the run that she put down in qualifications. 25.77 only at the time. So we've seen quite a few faster runs tonight. Bom, agora para personalizar o vídeo, né? Uma piadinha sacra. Uma freira estava cuidando num convento de dois gêmeos, bebês gêmeos, de um mês e pouco. Deu prisão de ventre nos gêmeos. E ela tinha que colocar supositório de glicerina nos dois. Ela colocou num, tocou o telefone, ela saiu do quarto. Quando ela voltou, os nenê estavam brincando. Como eles eram iguais e estavam peladinhos, ela não sabia em qual que ela tinha colocado o supositório e ela não poderia colocar duas vezes no mesmo nenê e não colocar no outro. Nisso eu pergunto para vocês, vocês têm ideia de como seria o nome desse filme ou dessa história? Eu vou contar até cinco para vocês pensar. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco. Olha a sua maldade. A vida de Madre Teresa de Qual Cutá. Tá louco? Fraco? 